Good evening again, great, uh, great tens. So now we are going to do the wages journal. So we are going to use this. Um, it's a task 9.23, also new era page 240. So just to help you, the last column has site or pairs you in, which is the um, Sipo Wemba is got 144. Rani Sukraj, 144, Melody, uh, Bias, uh, 64, and Elias Truta is 70 rand. Okay, let's do that one then. So it says, uh, use the following to drop a, a wages journal, then the CPJ, but we're not going to do, to do the CPJ now, just the wages journal. So like, uh, fortunately, they put it in a table for us. So we are doing um 7 October. So just, so the first thing you need to be careful about is that it's a week. So if they give you something that belongs to a month, like medical aid deduction per month, you have to divide it by four to get for a week. So you can't take the 500 crystals for the month. So if they give you anything else that says month, you have to divide it by two a week. So there is normal rate and there is overtime rate. This is the basic wage. The normal rate, the normal wage is a basic wage, and then the overtime plus normal then becomes a gross wage. So let's start. So we've got the names already. I put the names, and then let's see what they say. So in the normal rate, they work. This is rate rate 30, 30, 20, 24. I'm gonna leave Elias Trotter for you to do on your own, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me just do that so that you can just practice. So 30, 30, 20, 24. So I'm going to just do the other three. So so the, we, we know that this is the rate. If it's 30, 30, that is the rate. 30, 30, 30 and 20. Then I'm going to leave the other one. And then they say... Uh, normal hours. Let's start with normal hours. All employees work eight hours a day over a five-day week. Then the second one, melody bias, which is this one, absent on one day of the week. So if it's eight hours a day for five days, you say eight times five, which is 40. So 40, 40, but this one was absent. So you're going to say eight times four, which is 32. Do we agree? So that would be 40, 40, 32, that will be their hours. So hours is 40, 40, and then this one, 32. And then now to get this, you must just now then multiply this times this. So I'm going to just do it here. This times this is faster to use a computer. You can just use a calculator as fast as you can. So then I'm going to pull everything down so that it's uh yeah so that is the normal rate we are done with normal rate so that is normal rate maybe i should just uh, make it clear let's go back home and then so that is normal rate and then we're going to go to overtime which ends here overtime will be um so let me just also separate this so overtime will be um okay, i might as well just do this and finish I don't know why I'm not doing the totals, but it's fine. Um, then this, this will be, yeah. Uh, so, okay, so norm overtime, we given the rate for overtime, that's the one that is on the table. So overtime will be, they worked 10 hours extra, 10 hours, five hours. So that's what we're going to do. So that is the hours that will be 10, 10, and five. Five. And then what, how do we know the rate? Let's, we, let's go back, then you're going to say, the overtime rate is calculated at one and a half times the normal rate. So that one's easy again. You just take the normal rate, which is equal, based on normal rate. So in a calculator, that's what you enter. Normal rate times 1.5. One and a half is equal to 1.5. 1.5, that's what you do. So, okay, it's not allowing me why. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't want this point. It wants this type. 
Yeah. So, can you see? So, you're just going to do that. You're going to say 30 times 1.5. So, I'm going to do the same thing under here and the same thing here. Then, again, the amount will be the same as this. So, I'm going to... So, it will be the amount... No, not the same as this. I meant the formula is the same. So, you're going to say this times this to get this. So, I just copied the formula now, not the amount. So, this times this equals this. Then, how, how do you get gross wage? Gross wage is the normal wage amount plus the overtime normal wage plus overtime that will be the gross wage normal rate plus overtime so and then we are done with the gross wage then now we look at the deductions so these are the deductions that um the answer should have which means those are the deductions we must find so all employees belong to star medical aid contributions are deducted weekly employer contribution let me see yeah i'm right employer contribution uh contributions are deducted weekly and then the employer co contributes on a rand for rand basis towards medical aid this is how you do it so this is medical aid which is deducted weekly but they gave us month. So we start here, we divide by four because we just assume, unless they say something else, we assume each month has just four weeks. So we're going to say, so the medical aid, let's start with the employee. So it's going to be equal to 500 divided by four. So you do that on the calculator. 500, you say divided by four. So same thing. Uh, same thing here, but the other one has 360, not 500. So this one will be 360 divided by four. That's the, that's the um, medical aid. Then they already told us that the employer contributes to run for rent. So this is what you do, whatever they say, you do it. So here they say run for rent. So you can say this, so in your calculator, you're going to say 125 times one, which is the rent. So you don't need to do that because it's the same amount, but I'm just giving you information on if they say, if they don't say rand for rand and they say one rand is equal to one and a half rands, which is 1.5, then you say 125 times 1.5. If they say one rand contributes two rand of every rand, then you say 125 times two. So they say, so they will say 1.5 of every rand or two, two rand for every rand, or they'll say one rand of every rand. So the first one that they say, rand, you multiply by that. So if they say the rand for rand, so you multiply by one. So which means you don't need to multiply, you just, there's no time in the exam. You just put it as it is. So we are done with the employer and um, with the medical aid for employee and employee. Then we go to the next one. What did they give us? So they say employees contribute 5% of normal wage. So normal wage is on normal time. It's not gross. So 5% of normal wage to us, the trident brokers for pension, the employer contributes 10%. So let's do that. So 5% of normal wage for pension. So we say equals. So 5% will be 0, okay, why is it? 0, 0,05. That will be 5% times. And if it's 0, 0,5, that will be 50%. So if they say it's 5%, 0, 0, 0,05. Otherwise, on your calculator, type it 5, then you put the percentage if you don't want to get it wrong. So times normal wage. It has to be normal wage. So it's 60 rand, normal wage, and normal wage. I'm copying the formulas down. And then they say it, these ones contribute uh 10%. So 10% is the one that's that's from uh, 0 0.1, not 0 0.01. When you start from 10 going onwards, you don't put the zero. So of the normal wage again, normal wage. Yeah. So I'm copying down the formula and copying down the formula. That's what you do. For the employer so we are done with pension fund and then you go back to uif and skills development levy, levy are both calculated at one percent of gross wage so let's go there uif is one percent of gross so which is this one so i know that one percent is zero comma zero one so i'm gonna say zero comma okay so equals zero comma zero one so in the calculator again you're going to say 0, 0,01 or 1% 1 times the said cross this one. So, okay, so I let me leave the 
the sense. Let's leave the sense. Unless if they say round off, you can leave the sense. So even here, I'm going to leave the sense. So same thing here and same thing here, 1%. They say this one is 1% of cross weights as well. So equals 0, 0, 0,01 times uh, cross weight. So same thing. I'm just going to have to do the um the percents because I don't want it to be. Uh, so I take down the formula. And then they say it's skills levy also. Let me just make sure. Skills levy, skills, skills development levy is also 1% of cross weight. So even this one, I'm going to say equals. Now oh, what am I typing? Equals 0, 0,01 times. So in your calculator, 0, 0,01 times. You type what I'm, in your calculator, you type what I'm saying. Times the cross weight. So is that. So okay, let's change it again to include the cents, which is this. And then take down the formula, same thing. Same thing for all of them. And then now we are done with deduction. So we can get the total deductions, which will be an addition of just the deductions, just this one, addition of these. And then total deductions. Is there anything I left out? Oh, pairs you earn. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm supposed to put it, sorry, uh -uh, sorry. I'm supposed to put it in UIF for the employer and UIF for the employee and skills development. So well, that's what they said. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I put on pairs. And please don't be confused. UIF and skills, they are both calculated at a cross wage. So I'm supposed to put it here. So it is equal to uh, 0, 0, 0,01, 0, 0, times, I'm so sorry, please don't be confused. That was just a mistake. This is the one that I'm, I'm supposed to get the sense in. So the, so those are the UIF, the UIF from the employee and the one from the employer. So this is done. We can then add this, this is done. The employer contribution is this one. And then this is done. And then now we need, this one is not done. So the total will change after I correct this because the formula is the same. So um, so we will take it as it is. They didn't say site pays you in is uh, per month. So we don't have to divide by four. So the amounts that I gave you, I'm going to type them because I have them here. So we take it as it is. That's going to be 144. And then this one's also 144. And then this one is 64. They just gave it to us. We don't need to calculate. So this one, I don't need it to have the sense because we don't need the sense. Okay, so the 80, so then now this one is updated, yeah? And then we can now have all of them. So how do we get net net wage? Net wage is equal to gross minus total deduction. Start with the net wage. Gross minus total deduction. And that's it, and then you're done. So. You need to know normal time, overtime. You need to know cross. So for you to know cross, you need to know these. And then you're going to need to know deductions for you to get net wage. And then you're going to need employer contribution because this is a separate account. Separate. So this one is salaries and wages, and this one is going to be employer contribution. So next time I'm going to teach you how to post this to the ledger. I have to teach you how to post this. So for now, can you go and fill in alias total so that you know that you practiced and then you can add the totals. You don't have to add totals for trade and hours, but a amount, amount, and everything else aside, you can add the total. So I'm going to complete this and send it to you and then you can mark yourself. Otherwise, thank you guys again for listening. Uh, this is where we're going to stop for now. Uh, thank you guys again. Bye.